Hi guys, it's Liz Tamanaha of Paisley Press here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how I put together a typical layout in a traveler's notebook. I'm currently working on a layout of our first night in Scottsdale. All the components of the layout are printed, cut and ready to go. Photos are printed on photo paper. These four by eight inserts they serve as the base of the layout. These are printed on thinner cardstock, which I prefer for Traveler's Notebook pages because it adds less bulk to the book in the end. The paper that I use is from Paper Source. Looks like this. Comes in this packaging. And the color is pure white and it's in their text weight, which is the thinner version of their cardstock. And lastly, these are the embellishments, washi tape, a little mini tab, and a QR code card. For me personally, the layout process always starts with the photos. Deciding which photos to use, editing the photos in Lightroom, and then figuring out placement. In this case, I decided to pull a couple of photos that were taken in sequence and stack them on top of each other. And this is pretty much my go-to for snapshots that are landscape oriented. If they were taken in portrait orientation, I would probably just use one photo because it fills up that area pretty nicely. So step two for me is laying out the overall design where the photos will go, the type treatment, and the journaling. And these are all designed in Photoshop. Once that's done, I'll add embellishments if I feel the layout needs a little extra something. Sometimes that means that I just need to add a little tag or a little chipboard piece, but other times that means that I have to go back and rework the entire design, which is actually exactly what happened here. This is what it had looked like originally. And I just wasn't happy with the way that that turned out. Um, there really was no focal point. So I went back and redid the whole thing, sized this down a little bit, made the type larger on this side. Overall, I'm much happier with the second design you can tell that there's visually that there's a separation, two different storylines, where in this one, uh, I don't know. This one, better. So the next step is to put this all together and I'll be doing that in hyperlapse mode. See you in a little bit. Here's another look at the completed pages inside the Traveler's Notebook. One thing that I did want to point out that I forgot to talk about earlier is this flip up card that features a QR code. Um, I took these selfies in the golf cart on our way to dinner and I didn't have a picture of Madeline, but I did have a video of her and I wanted to incorporate that into this layout. so. Took the video, uploaded it online, um, QR coded it, and here's a screenshot from the video. And my daughters, for the most part, they prefer watching videos over looking at photos. So whenever I can, I try to incorporate that into our memory keeping albums. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. 